Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Today I wanted to show you a sprout of a plant. This is a great camas and the scientific name is Camasia lictilinii. So this species of camas is uh, larger than the common camas that you'll read about. Uh, being native to the Pacific Northwest, this was a basis for food and trade for the Native Americans. This uh, plant, particular plant here, came from Oregon. As far as I know, the Great Camas is not native to Idaho, although it does grow on the um, west side of the Snake River so it may actually have some stands that grow over here mostly what we see on the Idaho side is what's known as common camas so this uh, this species was desirable because it had larger bulbs now uh, down at the uh, base of the plant <coughs> is a bulb about this big once it's mature. It looks a lot like a spring onion. And uh, these are spring ephemeral plants. They come up early in the spring when the meadows are wet. They're very um, fond of the uh, moist soils and they'll come up for in some areas it's only two or three weeks and they flower and then they die back and the ground will get very hard pan so that's uh pretty much the their life cycle there now the they'll they'll get about three feet tall for these larger species and they have blue uh, flowers and they have like a uh, <clears throat> a seed pod that uh, it'll shatter open and it'll spread the seeds but they also will uh, kind of propagate uh, vegetatively so I am gonna plant this one out I also have some seeds for common camas that I I collected uh, last year so I'll see if I can get those to grow too, but I'm pretty happy that this one came up. I wasn't sure if it was uh, if it was gonna live. They're pretty hardy plants, so and most people probably know them from uh, use in flower beds because they fill the gap in between um, early spring when a lot of the more popular bulbs like tulips um, haven't come up yet so they'll come up before the tulips but then they uh, they'll die back to the ground they'll be a pretty low plant for once the uh, the perennials come up so that's how uh, most people are familiar with them but here in Idaho we have uh, they're called camas prairies and they're just acres and acres of these uh, these plants, and they actually look like uh, like if you didn't know it was a camas prairie, you might think it was a uh, like a pond or a lake out there from the distance. So so I'll uh, record some more videos when this uh, plant gets mature, show how to harvest some seeds from it, and. Uh, also what the flowers look like so this great camas camasia lictilinii plant assassin if you found this video informative please like and subscribe